Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Richard, today we're going to talk about an article, a recent article from the American Psychological Association's product, uh, publication called The American Psychologist. Right. The American Psychologist is probably one of the biggest and most read journals in psychology. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Probably because as an a- if you're a member of the American Psychological right. Association, you get the American yeah. Psychologist. Right. Yeah, it's been uh, around a long time. Right. So, so to be published in the American Psychologist right. is, is a pretty it's, significant thing. That's right. Yeah. Right. So um, in, in this article uh, that's entitled Intimate Relationships, Individual Adjustment, and Coronary Heart Disease, <laughs> looking at these associations of psychosocial risk. Right. So what we're talking about here is, and, and mm-hmm. what really drew us to this article, is the fact that we're looking at relationships as a mediating factor in something as serious as heart disease. That's right. I was looking for a particular number in this um, manuscript and I couldn't find it, but their essential point is that when we think about heart disease, we think about things like stress and anxiety and Mm -hmm. diet and all that stuff. And that's that's where we turn most of our attention goes to those things. What they're saying here is, wait a minute, there's another factor Mm-hmm. Okay, and it may it may be uh, your relationship, uh, the intimate relationship that you have or don't have, that could also be contributing to heart disease. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this, so we're going to kind of break this down a little bit. Mm-hmm. The, uh, we offered the or I put the the source link in, in the right. in the show notes, but you know in, unless you are able to get access to the American psychologist uh, through a university or something, you're not going to be able to read the whole article. But, right. uh, but what, we, what we have here is a link at least to the, to the abstract. But we're going to kind of summarize it right. briefly for you. Mm-hmm. When we think about, well, we've talked before about the fact that as humans, we are social beings. We need relationships. And if we think about People who, who who we who seem to be odd or unusual or mm-hmm. suspicious, they tend to be people who are not social. They tend to be right. people who you know are, are hermits or, or live mm-hmm. in solitude or uh, you know are they, antisocial or they or, isolate themselves. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So people who who don't engage in those social norms, mm-hmm. and what happens is that because we we see them as so different, it, it's sort of that. It's sort of that intrinsic understanding that mm-hmm. we are social beings, that we, we have to have and we need these kinds of relationships. That's right. Earlier this week, we talked about um, school age children right. who need to be connected to each other. They need to be connected at the school. They need to be connected with the people mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. the school. And if you're not, there's higher risk of uh, self-harm. Right. You know? so, so having uh, social relationships and intimate relationships as you get older and able to handle it. Having intimate relationships is essential to good health, particularly um, heart health. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that connection, I think for a lot of people, is a little bit of a difficult, Mm -hmm. um, they're they're difficult points to connect. Right. But it should, in in some ways, at least make make sense. You know, because we're social beings, because we need those interactions, that, that connectedness, we know that when we don't had them, it increases stress, it increases um, loneliness, increases the risk for depression, mm-hmm. it increases the risk of anxiety and stress and some of those right. things that, as you said a moment ago, very directly and, and very knowingly connects to heart disease That's and heart right. problems. And here we're talking about two kinds of relationships. One is we need to be with others. We are social, uh, we're mm-hmm. social creatures. Um, and so we need to be around other people. That's why if you go to Italian villages, for example, little with no, no malls or anything, they're just, you know, a couple hundred people at night, everybody goes out into the street. They go mm-hmm. out and they, they mingle with each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, in our country, people go to malls, people go 
places where there are other people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we like our alone time, but mainly we're social. But this article talks about that, but it also goes a step further in that it talks about the value of intimate relationships right. and how um, how important a a a healthy intimate relationship is right mm -hmm. and it doesn't restrict intimate relationship necessarily to a marriage mm. or, or something like that it just right. means a, a relationship that is very close oftentimes when we're talking right. to people we're, we're referred to um, either a partner right. or a best friend right. uh, uh, somebody that you feel as though you can confide in somebody right. that you feel connected to in, in a way that they've got your back, that you know that if you needed something, that's the person that you right. could depend on. Right. That type of security in mm -hmm. a relationship. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a partner as such. It could be a relative. It could be a sibling, right. uh, a good friend. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it just. But there ha we need. We seem to need these in healthy, intimate relationships. And when right. those are either are not there. Mm -hmm. Or they're not working well. Right. Uh, bad things can happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in in this article, they talk about some of the research that's looked at some of this. But the 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 surprising thing I think that I got from it is that there's not there's not a whole right. lot of research on it. That's right. There's not a whole yeah. lot of research that looks at some of these psychosocial factors. Right. And that's what that's the contribution here is that yeah. they're beginning. And that's why there isn't. Um, they don't present large amounts of data because there isn't a lot of data mm -hmm. on this topic. It's sort yeah. of a new addition right. to the equation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this this whole edition of the or, or a whole volume of the American Psychologist was focused on relationships mm -hmm. and and their effects on different things. And so right. um, there, there's this this one on the heart disease mm -hmm. really caught my attention because we we talk many times about how that connection between mental health and physical health. Right. Right. How, you know, of course, diet and exercise and sleep relates to some of those things. Mm -hmm. And we've, that's pretty well founded. But that stress, a very psychological thing that, of course, has biological implications, relates to some of these I issues, medical issues. I think that's the connection. Stress is the connection. Mm -hmm. Stress is the... That's the underlying linear thread. Linear equation, model, you know, mm -hmm. that's the thread right. that, that's linking these things because... If you don't have a good intimate relationship, it's a wonderful quote um, from one of the books that you and I used mm -hmm. in teaching. Um, 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 being close to somebody, proximity without intimacy is ultimately destructive. Right. It, was, it was talking about marriages. Um, and that's true. People mm -hmm. living in the same house who don't have a healthy, intimate relationship, she says, is ultimately destructive. She okay. meaning the author. The author, right. Not, not as in a partner. Not the partner. Not your partner. No. Your the, partner didn't say that. No. no. The, the author. Of the, that. Woman who, the woman who uh, made the quote. And I've, I've never forgotten that. Um, yeah. and, and I think she's absolutely right. Um, couples who don't have, who, who live together and don't have a healthy, happy, intimate relationship Mm -hmm. Intimate in the sense of trusting relationship, right, right. Um, that is, as she says, is ultimately destructive. And I think she's right. I think yeah. in younger couples, in particular, yeah. um, if you're together but you don't like being together, you don't mm -hmm. like being around each other. I'm not sure that marriage is going to last. Yeah. You know. Um, and so, and I think she's right. And so, what it does is it creates stress. Mm -hmm. So the, the the problem here is with coronary disease, coronary heart disease, is stress that's created by either the absence of an intimate relationship right. or an unhealthy intimate relationship right. creates stress and stress causes the problem. Yeah. Okay. So you may be listening to this and thinking, well, what can I do about it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to die of a heart attack. Right, right. Right. So one of the things then is to look at the nature of your intimate relationships. Is, right. is your intimate relationship strong? Is it healthy? Is it uh, moving in a direction that is mutually agreed upon? And if not, we need to you need to do something about that. Do you have an intimate relationship with right. somebody? Right. You know, I mean, that's the first question. And, and typically, we think of somebody outside of our immediate family. Mm -hmm. But as we said, it doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have an intimate relationship with any number of people. We want one with another partner with with a partner. Um, but but don't 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 think that you can't have an intimate relationship right. just because you're not in 
you're not married or something. You're not married or right. you're in a partner relationship. Mm-hmm. Right. So you, you have you need to have that you need to connect that, co- that right. closeness. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so if you don't have that, <clears throat> work to build that. You know, you work whether yeah. it's somebody you work with or somebody at school or somebody that mm-hmm. lives nearby or something right. or a family member. You know, work to create that connectedness. Right. If you have if you're married and you, or you're in a relationship where you have people who you spend a lot of time with, mm-hmm. if those relationships are unhealthy, get some support and some help to improve those relationships, right. make those relationships healthy. That's right. And relationships don't take care of themselves. Yeah. They're like plants and pets. Um, you have to nurture them. You have to take care of them. You have to take care of your relationship. If mm-hmm. you're not, I think the first thing I would do is I would question myself Mm-hmm. and say, am I nurturing this relationship? Mm-hmm. It's not going to be self-sustaining. Right. You have to take care of it. And if you're not nurturing that relationship, it will wither. Yeah. You know, you yeah. Can, yeah. Absolutely. So, all right. So um, if you're at risk mm-hmm. for coronary heart disease, if it's a family risk factor, uh, if you have a high stress kind of job that puts you at increased risk, um, you may want to think not just about depression and anxiety, you may also want to think about mm-hmm. how your relationship might be a protective factor mm-hmm. against um, such things as coronary heart disease. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. So, so take a look at this, uh, it's good, good, uh, good information and I think valuable information. Absolutely, so, all right, that is it then. Relationships are hard. They are. We should talk about that sometime. We should do a week on relation. I knew you were going to say that. I have an idea about that. It's always nice when you have ideas. It's a good idea, too. Great. All right. Until next time, I will listen to his ideas, and then we'll go from there. Maybe. No comment. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid.